What is going on guys? Welcome back to the IGL. You might have seen uh, the Masters Draft video on the IGL channel. Uh, so that's why I didn't make one uh, for mine. But this is week one and we are taking on Bounty. And I I can't remember if we played last season or not. Uh, but we he's also in WPF with us in our division. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and he's a pretty cool dude. And he's a scary team dude. When Darkrai was allowed, he was like, if it makes it to me, I'm going to take it. And it made it to him at like 5 or 6, I think. Something like that. And then he got freaking Mega Scissor. Mega Scissor went all like all the way from like 5 back down. Of like an, what are we, 18 person league or something like that? Yeah, 18 person league. All the way back up to 5. I was like, we, do we just allow this man, Darkrai and freaking Mega Scissor? It's such a hard team to prep against but let's get into it uh, as we do have our own terrain team but if you look at f five of his mods or so have a tough tough time with Arkham Kelder Rodan Frost can't touch us Chandelier we're I believe we're Assault Vest this week no I'm, I'm Payapa Berry Payapa Berry uh, uh, I can still I can still eat pretty decently some Chandelier hits knock it off Scissor doesn't want to take a fire punch Starmie, depending on if it's like Psy Shock or Psychic, um, we can probably handle it as well. And then Darkrai, um, I was pie up a berry for the Darkrai so that I could eat eat the Psychic from it and then Drain Punch it and just knock it straight out. So like the majority of his team does not want to take hits from my Kinkelder at all. Um, and once Darkrai goes down, dude, Zam's going in. Zam just goes in when Darkrai goes down. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this straight off the bat. Turn one, I'm going to send in Conkelder. Uh, I'm going straight for the knockoff. Like I, I don't, I don't fear this thing at all. As he goes into his scissor here, so the knockoff doesn't really matter on this thing. The chip damage doesn't really matter because he just roosts back up. But we do fire punch and just straight up Oko this thing. Uh, now let me get the calc up on this thing. I don't know what his team was, but I guess we can just kind of take a guess. Um, as Mike and Kelder was uh, Max Attack Adamant. I do kind of want to know. Um, Iron Fist. He may not have calced Iron Fist. That might have been. That might have been the issue. Let's see. Because we did an Oka. I wonder if he was. I didn't ask. I wonder if he was any defense at all. Oh my god. Oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> that's a bomb of snow, not Mega Scissor. <laughs> Alright, it could have been a roll. I, I'm just going to say he was max HP, no defense, and no defense nature. Or not, like, no defense boosting. Uh, let's see, like, Adamant or something like that. Um, so if he was just max HP, we had a 94% chance of killing this thing. Which is pretty wild, actually, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't look at that calc. I just knew click fire punch. Click super effective button. Um, so if he did have a buttload of, of defense on there, it could have been a roll, I believe. But taking out Mega Scissor turn 3 is amazing for our team. Um, as Primarina is, is a lot more freer now. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep this going. Incoming Starmie, I'm like... I don't want to risk it right now. I do have a Gudra that can eat hits for days. Like I'm a salt vested, but I'm still eating that with my Psy Shock. Uh, as I do get a little bit of chip off here with our Iron Barbs, and I wanted to see what he's going to go into here. As he goes into a Chandelier, I'm like, yeah, I, I can't stay in here. So I'm going to go straight into my NDD, inspect, expecting like to eat it way better than that, and I, I did not. I did not eat that at all. So I, I want to make a, a risky play into our Mega Alakazam as we trace his natural cure here, which is actually amazing. As he lives the energy ball, he had to be like max HP, max spadef, or like a huge spadef. I forget what the calc is to live that energy ball. Because I, I know I KO like max, max HP, I believe. As he thunder waves us and he goes, oh crap, because I'm natural cure. So that play didn't really help him all that much other than getting like a little bit of chip off here. But I... I, I did click expanding forest that turn. Uh, let's, let's, uh, so the turn the para didn't actually matter, but the para the paralysis mattered. He para hacked me, <laughs> but I get a I get a free swap out here now. And I get rid of the the paralysis, uh, as I can eat hits from this thing for days if it doesn't have like toxic or something like that. 
is I just go ahead and I drag and tail this thing out so I can get a better uh, position here. I'm going to go into Ferrothorn as I know this thing can't touch me. Even like Psychic Terrain boosted Psyshox aren't, aren't doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and get up a Leech Seed, which I miss. And I'm like, well, this thing can't touch me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this Leech Seed up one more time. And I do believe I double Leech Seed just so that he couldn't get a free switch in. Um, if that first one hadn't missed, though, I would have had Hazards up, which is really, really annoying. As I am going to, I was just sacking this thing off here, to be honest. Uh, I was going to take two special hits and probably die. But we do get off a clutch ice beam. A super clutch ice beam. Let, taking damage on this Mudsdale is what really hurt him in the late game. And I do click ice beam again here. As I am in range of anything he wants to go for. But I am going to go again into Ferrothorn. It's what he's shown me so far is he can't touch me. He's like flip turn, recover, Psyshock, Thunder Wave. He can't touch me at all with this with this Starmie, which was amazing. He didn't have Rapid Spin, so I was like, I'm going to hazard stack the crap out of this dude. Uh, but his Chandler does show to be Heavy Duty Boots, but he does get a very annoying pair there again. As we are able to sack off our Gudra as he clicks Substitute here. And I'm like, ooh. I was really hoping to see if he was uh, infiltrator, infiltrator here, but he was not. And I'm like, yikes. Okay, well, I am going to go ahead and get my Terrain up and sack my Ndidi here. But he goes for the Hex play here, which was amazing on our part, as we are able to uh, break the sub there, which is huge for our team. As now I can go into Mega Alakazam uh, and just fire off. Uh, I believe I do an Expanding Force. Uh, look at that, 47% on the Starmie. Um, amazing damage as we do go for energy ball here this time and he screams choice scarf with this thing he's screaming it he's just screaming it at the top of his lungs uh which turns out he is not and he does have the hp fire and he does knock us out i'm like oh well if he's not choice scarf well it's time to die buddy <laughs> it's time to die uh as i do go ahead for i believe the energy ball again as i knew it could just two hit ko it was going to hit ko this thing anyway so it didn't really matter all that much uh, as I can just fire it off again, but he is trying to just stall out my terrain, which I don't think mattered all that much because I could still do damage. Uh, but this is his choice scarf mod. I was like, oh, he choice scarfed a Rotom Frost instead of his Darkrai. Okay. Uh, as I go, I go ahead and send in my Conkelder here now, as I can, I know I can eat any hit from it, and I'm just gonna fire off a knockoff here, which gets rid of this thing's leftovers, makes it where I don't really care about its defense boost, and I can just drain punch through it. As I am max HP now, uh, and I'm not really scared about this thing either, as we are Payapa Berry, and we do eat that hit for days. We're going to eat the hit no matter what, so that doesn't matter all in the long run, I don't believe. And we do Drain Punch to kill it. And we are able to just live anything this thing wants to go for. Oh, I guess it would have mattered. It would have mattered. The damage would have knocked us out with Thunderbolt. We are able to just Drain Punch through that thing and knock it out for the 2-0 win. And I think one of the closest games in Masters Best of 1 uh, for week one. Anyways, GG to Bounty. It was a fun game. It was so hard prepping for Darkrai. Like, it's one thing when you have to prep for Dark types with your Mega the Alakazam, but when you have to prep for a freaking Darkrai, oh my god, dude, it's stupid. Uh, and I think the only only misplay was that uh, was that Thunder Wave wa wasting that turn. Um, basically, I mean it. It made me switch against the Darkrai, which it so it, it could have been viewed as a bad play, but um, that was the only like I guess play that could have been viewed as a mistake to me. I think he played really well. The Piapa Berry really really helped us with this Conkelder. I think he prepped too much for like Ferrothorn, Alakazam, and DD, and not so much on Gudra, and not so much for the Conkelder. Maybe maybe he didn't think it was coming because I got made fun of hard for drafting Conkelder with terrain. I was like. It doesn't have to have Mach Punch. <laughs> it's still a stupidly strong fighting type. And what what does Ndidi and Mega Zam hate the most? Dark types. And so, you know, I I'll be knocking down some dark types with this, uh, with my big dog, Conkelder. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this so far, please drop a like down below and subscribe. I realized the music stopped, like, a little while ago. I just now realized it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I will see you guys in week two. Peace out.